Hey everyone, welcome back to yet another episode of Path to Jarvis. In this episode, I want to try a little bit more complicated experiment uh, to see if this AI agent can help me get there. So I want to start with gradient descent and I want to start at an abstract level, uh, just trying to pick a loss function, take gradient, something like that. And then eventually I want to try to have the AI to create some sort of experiment to help me visualize that the theoretical idea could work. So with that being said, let's get started. Hey, how's it going? I'm trying to understand the gradient descent algorithm, but uh, I don't know how to start. Can you help me? Of course, to better assist you, can you clarify what specifically you would like to know about the gradient descent algorithm in Python? Are you looking to implement it from scratch or do you need help understanding how to use it for a specific problem? Yeah, I'm trying to understand it from a theoretical level. Let's start with uh, mean square error. Uh, how to take a derivative of that? I don't know how it works. To find the derivative of the mean square error MSE with respect to a parameter, we can perform basic calculus. The mean square error is defined as MSE frac 1n sum i equals 1n yi minus hat yi 2. To find the derivative of the MSE with respect to a parameter, let's say parameter w, we need to differentiate the MSE formula with respect to w. Would you like me to write the Python code to calculate the derivative of the MSE with respect to a parameter? Yeah, uh, I want to write a Python code uh, to start with the mean square error, take gradients, and to run a for loop to do the gradient descent algorithm. The provided Python code calculates the mean square error, determines the gradient, and executes a gradient descent optimization loop with a specified learning rate. By adjusting the data set or the learning rate and number of iterations, you can observe how the algorithm optimizes the weights. Would you like to run this code or need more clarification? No, I don't want to print out the results. I want to plot it, the loss function. I want to see the error go smaller and smaller, and I want to save as animation. The provided Python code snippet creates an animation to visualize how the mean squared error decreases over each iteration of gradient descent. The animation is saved as a GIF file named gradientdescentanimation.gif. You can adjust parameters like learning rate and number of iterations for different behaviors. Would you like to run this code snippet for your understanding or need any more clarification? Yeah, I think we're making progress here, so let's do it. Please execute the code. The code has executed successfully, and the result is a figure displaying an animation showing how the mean squared error decreases over each iteration of gradient descent. The animation has been saved as a GIF file named gradientdescentanimation.gif. Is there anything else you would like assistance with or any other questions you have in mind? Feel free to ask. Yeah, uh, let's repeat the same experiment, but with Atom Optimizer. The provided Python code snippet repeats the experiment using the Atom Optimizer instead of traditional gradient descent. 
It utilizes the Atom Optimizer from tensorflow.keras.optimizers and visualizes the mean squared error over each iteration, saving the animation as Atom Optimizer Animation.gif. If you would like to run this code or have any further questions, feel free to let me know. Yes, please execute the code. The execution of the code failed with exit code 1 due to a name error, name tf, is not defined error. This occurred because the code is trying to use the tf module, TensorFlow, without importing it. To resolve this issue, we need to import TensorFlow at the beginning of the code. Would you like me to correct and rerun the code, or is there anything else you would like assistance with? Yeah, please correct the code. Uh, write the full code for me. Make sure import TensorFlow. The provided Python code snippet has been corrected with the proper import of TensorFlow module, allowing for the execution of an experiment using the Atom Optimizer for gradient descent. You can run the code to visualize the mean squared error over each iteration. If you have any more questions or need further assistance, please feel free to let me know. Nope, that's all my questions. Uh, let's do it. Please execute the code. The code has executed successfully with exit code zero, and the output includes TensorFlow initialization messages along with the generated plot showing the animation of the mean squared error decreasing over each iteration of the Atom Optimizer gradient descent. If you have any more questions or need further assistance with anything else, feel free to ask. Yeah, now we have a comparison. I want to put the two plot together, save it in one animation. So rewrite the code for me. The updated Python code combines and animates the mean squared error over iterations for both traditional gradient descent and atom optimizer gradient descent. By running the code, an animation titled combined optimizer animation.gif will show the comparison between the two optimization algorithms. Feel free to execute the code to observe and compare the performance of the two approaches. Let me know if you have any further questions or need assistance. No, I think this looks great. Uh, let's do it. Please execute the code. The code has executed successfully with exit code zero, and it generated an animation showing the mean squared error decreasing over each iteration for both traditional gradient descent and atom optimizer gradient descent combined. The animation is saved as combined optimizer animation.gif. If you have any more questions or need further assistance with anything else, feel free to ask. So this is great. I saw the visualization. Uh, the Atom Optimizer actually updates faster. Can you explain that?
The Atom Optimizer updates faster than traditional gradient descent due to adaptive learning rates, momentum, bias correction, and efficient optimization strategies. These features enable Atom to adjust learning rates for each parameter individually, utilize momentum for faster updates, and efficiently optimize complex deep learning models, leading to quicker convergence in high dimensional spaces. If you have further questions or need clarification, feel free to ask. No, I think that'll be all. Thank you so much. Uh, please exit the program. You're very welcome. If you ever have more questions in the future, feel free to return. Have a great day ahead. Goodbye. So there you go, folks. Now this cell has finished running and we have a couple of Python scripts being generated throughout this conversation. And we try to run some of them, some of them failed, some of them were successful, and we end up creating three animation files. One is for gradient descent, and one is for the atom optimizer. And then the last one, we're putting them together as a comparison. And then we observe that the orange path, which is the Adam optimizer, uh, actually moved down a bit faster because here you can obviously see the orange line is lower than the blue line at the spot here, which shows that Adam optimizer in this particular case is more efficient at reducing the error because its y-axis is actually the error. So. Something like that's interesting, and uh, there you go. We've done it. Uh, here's an end-to-end -end concept solution that we're able to run the simulation 100% using voice command. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and like.